<laughs> so some silver stars here today from the Camdesh districts where our troopers from Black Knight 361 Cav fought heroically for more than 12 hours in some of the most austere terrain in Afghanistan. More than 150 insurgents were killed and dozens more wounded in the Battle of Keating. Their actions on 3 October helped turn the tide in this remote area and the locals have since declared jihad against the Taliban and the Afghan National Security Forces and political leaders are now taking the lead to establish credible local governance and that's in an area that really has never had it. And sir, in the Ganjagal Valley where two of our team leaders from 2503 Infantry of the Rock made several trips under intense enemy fire for Kazavak and ammo resupply while continuing to engage the enemy. And then also here today, sir, from the Korangal Valley where troopers from Baker Company fought through a three-sided attack in some of the most austere terrain and the dangerous most by anti-Afghan forces during a counterattack that led to multiple enemy killed in action. Ladies and gentlemen, the Chief of Staff of the Army, General George W. Casey, Jr., will now present awards to 19 outstanding members of Task Force Mountain Warrior. 2010, as a platoon leader during a complex ambush of over 25 fighters in the Korangal Valley. The Bronze Star Medal with Valor is awarded to Korangal Valley on 16 January 2010. Bush in the Weirdish Valley Village. The Bronze Star Medal with Valor is awarded to Sergeant Kyle in January 2010 during an attack while conducting an air assault in the Ganjago Valley. Uh, that make us what we are today, this the greatest army you know, on the face of the earth. After a tough year here, uh, but if you look back to where this thing started when you got here this time, uh, I think you can see the progress. I can see the progress. And that's what we do. We are just relentless in our pursuit of progress. And we take little steps every day, and after a while those little steps add up, and you have what's happening in Iraq today. And the transition that we were thinking about in 2005 is, is actually happening. And the security forces that we began to build in earnest in 2005 are actually taking control of their country. And everybody that served in Iraq has a piece of that success. Just like everybody in Afghanistan, we empower them to succeed. So my compliments to you on a great mission here. You know, I look at units that take on the really hard jobs and make a difference. And that's what the Mountain Warriors have done here. And probably the, the toughest fight 